Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Mark Kelly, better known as Gabby Gifford's husband. <laughs> we are excited about joining you for a conversation on big ideas. In Congress, Gabby represented Tombstone, Arizona. It is the town that is too tough to die. It's also a symbol of American grit and the Western ethos of gun ownership. You know, when you drive into Tombstone on the interstate, a sign reads, Gunfights Daily. And costumed cowboys, holsters slung low on their hips, stage shootouts for sunburned tourists who watch from these wooden sidewalks as they eat beef jerky. Now, the only thing that's missing from this stage gunfight is the history lesson. Visitors will leave the OK Corral with souvenirs. They leave with hats and plastic revolvers tied up in plastic bags, and hundreds of years of the American West as cowboy kitsch. But they never learn that the tombstone legislatures, legislators of 1880 worked, worked very hard to improve public safety by enacting limits on carrying guns. They don't learn that our Western traditions of gun ownership are braided tightly with a commitment to responsibility. America's most famous gunfight broke out because the outlaws refused to comply with the local firearm regulations. But the 1880 Tombstone Law wasn't part of an anti-gun agenda. It was an affirmation of responsible gun ownership, which is safety through responsibility. Well, today, we have the same opportunity. We can reduce gun violence, not by limiting guns, but through a rights and responsibilities agenda. We uphold the right of every American to own and use a gun, and we commit to a policy framework for the responsible exercise of that cherished right. But what stands in our way is a fractured America. On one side, you have Americans for whom firearms are as common in their lives as cars and cell phones. On the other, you have those who identify gun possession with crime and tragedy. It's a nation neatly divided by its experience with firearms. Well, Gabby and I stand in the middle. We like guns, but our lives have also been devastated by gun violence. Now we need America to come join us in the middle. In the middle, we are defining a positive vision for gun ownership in America, in which our rights are an attribute of citizenship, but it's not a threat or an inconvenience. In the middle, we insist on the responsible exercise of our gun rights. We insist that guns stay out of the hands of dangerous people, that weapons of war are not available to criminals, and that firearms are not just left around for kids to shoot other kids. And we, and we insist on gun laws that reflect our society's commitment to responsible gun ownership. In the middle, we say no to the cynical efforts of the gun lobby to allow guns into bars and classrooms and college campuses, campuses and no to the philosophy of more guns at any cost. When America follows the gun lobby, we miss a critical point. Our rights aren't the strongest when our laws are the weakest. And when our laws are weak, our families and communities are not safe. Now I'd like to take a moment to introduce my partner, my wife, 
and my inspiration, a strong Western woman who has the courage to chart a new path, former Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords. Stopping gun violence takes courage. The courage to do what's right. The courage of new ideas. I've seen great courage when my life was on the line. Now is the time to come together, be responsible. Democrats and Republicans and everyone, everyone. We must never stop fighting. Fight, 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 be bold, be courageous. The nation is counting on you. Thank you. Thank you very much, everybody.